Hey guys, welcome back to Megan Grace DIY. Today's tutorial is a really simple one that anyone can accomplish. We're gonna make an adorable little pouch that you can store either an extra mask or an extra pair of gloves on your keys when you're on the go. And if you watch through to the very end, I'm gonna tell you how you can win the pouch and the matching masks. So this project really doesn't take much fabric at all. We're gonna have two pattern pieces, one that's nine inches by four inches, and then a second piece that's one and a half inches by two inches. We're also gonna use something called a lobster clasp to attach the pouch to our key ring. And as you can see here, I've already got our fabric cut and ready to go. I'm going to start with the smaller piece of fabric by pressing it in half and then pressing each side in by a quarter of an inch. This is preparing to make the tab that's gonna attach the pouch to our key ring. Once it's pressed, we're gonna stitch it right along the edge. Then we're gonna take the edges of the longer piece of fabric and fold them over twice, both at a quarter of an inch. Take both ends and press them in place, and then you're gonna go ahead and stitch right along the edge of the fold. At this point, we should have three lines stitched. Follow along with my fingers to make sure that you've stitched in all the correct places. Take the larger piece of fabric and lay it on top of your pattern piece, making sure to leave space at the top and the bottom for where you've already sewn your rolled hems. Take the fabric and push it to the left. You're gonna see where I marked on the pattern where the tab is gonna be pinned to the larger piece of fabric. Take a pin or use some tailor's chalk to mark this area. We're going to take the tab and loop it through the lobster clasp and pin it in place on the larger piece of fabric. But I do wanna mention, if this is too bulky for you to sew, you could just sew on the tab and then slide the lobster clasp onto the tab after it's sewn. Either way you decide to do it is perfectly fine. As you can see here, I've pinned the lobster clasp with the tab to the large piece of fabric. The pattern piece also has specific fold lines marked on it. You're gonna take the bottom half and fold it up first, and then take the top half and fold it down on top of that. When you fold that top half down on top, it's gonna be about a quarter to a half an inch short from the bottom. You don't want it to be perfectly lined up. I'm going to place a pin on each side just to hold the folds in place to be sewn. I'm taking my little pouch and I'm sewing each side of it at 3 eighths of an inch. The only part about this that might be a little bit tricky is sewing the side where the lobster clasp is may be a little bit bulky, but just take your time and it'll come out fine. After stitching each side at 3 eighths of an inch, I also did a zigzag stitch to finish off the edges. This is always my favorite part of any project. Now we get to flip it right side out. We're gonna pay special attention to the corners and make sure they're pushed all the way out. And then I'm gonna actually take it over to the iron and just give it one last quick final press so it looks really nice and sharp. I just love this project because I think it's so adorable and it's so easy to make. Now let me show you how we're gonna fill the pouch. Take the top layer and flip it inside out and that'll reveal the inside of the pouch. Starting with our shaped mask, we're gonna fold it in half lengthwise, and then we're gonna fold it in thirds widthwise. Then we can slide the mask into the pouch. Once the mask is in its proper place, we're gonna take that top flap and flip it right side out again. For a pleated style mask, we're gonna fold it in half once tucking the elastic inside and then fold it in half again. We're gonna slide it inside the pouch and then flip the top side of the pouch right side out. <music> Lastly, we could also use the pouch for an emergency pair of gloves or for an oral dam for giving CPR. Basically, once you have whatever you wanna store inside the pouch, you flip the top flap right side out and you can attach it to any keychain you'd like. And there you have it, 
a really quick, easy, and adorable way to store an emergency mask or pair of gloves on your keychain in case you need them in a hurry. And having the mask and the pouch match, well, I think that's just a nice extra special touch. Now that we've made it to the end, it's time for me to tell you how you could win the pouch and both styles of masks. If you only know me through my YouTube channel, chances are you don't know that I play roller derby. I've been playing for about three years and it's one of the most fun things I've ever done in my life. In one of my most recent tutorials, I hinted as to what my derby name is. If you could be the first person to tell me what tutorial it was, the timestamp as to when the hint was dropped, and what the name is, you'll win both masks, the pouch, and a little extra surprise. You can email me the answer to the riddle at megangraceDIY at gmail.com, and I'll write in the comments once the riddle has been solved. But sadly, I have to say, if I skate with you or if I know you in real life and you already know what my derby name is, you'll have to sit this contest out. So thanks again for stopping by Megan Grace DIY. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow and informative. You can also check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest, all at Megan Grace DIY. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe and the notify button. And to everyone who's gonna try to solve the Easter egg riddle, best of luck, and as always, happy sewing.